The Swedish chef, one of the most famous Muppets of all time, is known for his eccentric cooking methods and talking mostly in gibberish with the occasional coherent word. Nearly all of his Muppet sketches show him in a kitchen waving utensils and singing his trademark song in mock Swedish, always ending with Bork, 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 and throwing utensils over his shoulder. But what do we really know about this chef? What's his real name? Is he married? Is he based on a real person? Is he really Swedish? To answer these questions, we have to go back, way back to 1975, when the Swedish chef made his first appearance on a half-hour variety special named Sex and Violence. This was essentially the pilot for what would become The Muppet Show the following year. It's the Muppet Show! Since 1969, Jim Henson's Muppets were a huge hit with children on Sesame Street. However, he was worried that he would be typecast as a children's entertainer, and so he began to create a program more for an adult audience. Eight. Eight, like the number eight. There was a bit of irony in the fact that, that suddenly in 1969, uh, he became associated with the greatest children's hit in the history of television. Puppeteers traditionally are always automatically pigeonholed as, as children's performers and and uh, uh, it was exactly what Jim didn't want. The Muppet Show was presented as a variety show featuring guest stars who would perform sketches and musical numbers. Jim's puppets uh, kind of exploded puppetry. There was nothing like it. It's time to put on makeup. It's time to dress up right. The Muppet Show quickly gained in popularity and was nominated for 21 Primetime Emmy Awards during its run, winning four including Outstanding Variety Series in 1978. Prepare the standard rich and famous contract for Kermit the Frog and company. There's an incredible amount of freedom in writing a show like this, be just from, from that point of view and from an artistic point of view as well, you know, because you can sit down and, and, and type almost any insane fantasy you can think of on paper, and um, there are people standing by to do it. Beside the technology of television, we still rely on the old standbys like uh, breakaway props, sight gags, pies in the face, and explosions. Well, all right, let's set up for one more. Some claim that the Swedish chef was inspired by real-life Swedish chef Lars Kuprik Bachman. Bachman claims that his appearance on Good Morning America caught the attention of Jim Henson, who created the character based on him. We kind of talked about it. Everybody said, it's got, well, you've you got to be the format for the Swedish chef. Most of my friends have seen The Muppet Show. and said, it's got to be you. You look like you. However, Jerry Jewell, an original writer for The Muppets, would set the record straight that the chef was not based on a real person, no matter what the claims may be. I wrote, rehearsed, rewrote, brainstormed, and giggled uncontrollably a thousand times with Jim Henson as we dealt with the Swedish chef, and I never once heard him mention an actual Swedish chef, especially one that claims to be Charlton Heston's golf buddy. I mean, that's a story Jim would have told. The Chef was originally performed by Jim Henson and Frank Oz simultaneously, with Henson performing the head and voice and Oz performing with his real hands. Over the years, The Chef's voice has been performed by Jim Henson from 1975 to 1990, David Rudman in 1992 in A Muppet Christmas Carol, David Goals in 1999 in Muppets from Space. Yes, get, first, get, 
Bubble is kaboom! Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on the top of my list. <laughs> there is a menu correction, okay? We will now be serving bologna sandwiches. Oh, oh, bologna. Bologna sandwiches. Oh. But no bread. And since 1996 to present day, the Swedish chef is currently performed by Bill Beretta. He's best known for the phrase, bork, bork, bork. We still try and keep up that tradition that Jim and Frank did, which was Jim operated, you know, the character, the body and to the head and the voice. And then Frank did the hands. And they didn't always know what the other was going to do. Um, for years, it was Steve and I, and and then it became Peter and I, Peter Linz and I. And so we have a lot of fun doing it. Cause, but it, it's interesting whenever I get a script, you know, people don't know whether to try and write the words for him, <laughs> you know. Uh, and usually what I just ask is if people will just write what you want him to say. Yeah and then let me kind of figure it out. Staff received a memorable letter from a Scandinavian businessman who saw the show while on a trip to London. He wrote to inform my father that the Muppet Show's so-called Swedish chef did not actually speak any real Scandinavian language, not even Swedish. Is the chef actually Swedish? Slate Magazine analyzed the chef's accent and suggested that the chef may actually be from Norway. <gasps> Stockholm University linguistics professor Thomas Raid explains that the intonation is actually far closer to Norwegian than any Swedish dialect. I can see where it comes from, but it doesn't sound like Swedish to me, he told the paper. In episode 306, to everyone's surprise, it was revealed that his native language is neither Swedish or Norwegian, but rather Japanese. <laughs> The chef is referred to by name in only one episode. In 1978, Danny Kay, who plays his uncle, reels off a long name and then adds, but we call him Tom. Yeah, that's his name. But we call him Tom. <laughs> a gold wedding ring has appeared on the chef's left hand as early as 2007. Bill Beretta explained that the ring belonged to Steve Whitmire, who often performed the chef's hands. He said the ring was a mishap at some point when Steve and I started doing it together, we couldn't reshoot what we had done once we realized it, so it stuck. The ring has since appeared on various merchandise, including a 2014 plush doll and a diamond select action figure. Even in recent appearances, the chef can still be seen wearing the ring. Outside of The Muppet Show, the Swedish chef has appeared on various shows, including the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson in 1976. It is my pleasure to introduce the Swedish chef. <laughs> America's Got Talent as a guest judge in 2007. <laughs> Emeril Lagasse in 2014. Today I, I, I have a, a visiting chef today. So. Mm, the yeah. Swedish yeah. chef. Yeah. Yeah. Swedish chef. Right. Jimmy Kimmel Live in 2015. Swedish chef. <laughs> 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 Jimmy Kimmel. Hey. Master Chef Junior in 2017. Oh my God. Please welcome Miss Piggy and the Swedish Chef. And James Corden in 2020. In 1988, the chef introduced his very own breakfast cereal named Crunchy Stars. The cereal was discontinued about a year later, though it made a brief return in 1992. Great tasting Crunchy Star cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast from Post. The back of the box featured ridiculous and sometimes unsolvable games and puzzles. The box listed its ingredients on the side panel as with most other food products, including a few exemptions. No trombones, no broccoli, no shoe trees, and no wheelbarrows. Some of the names considered for the product included Oopal Saucies, Crunchy Poofs, Muppets, and Stupid Flakes. 
The Swedish chef has appeared in every Muppet film to date. These include The Muppet Movie in 1979, The Great Muppet Caper in 1981, hey, looks like steering wheel souffle for dinner. The Muppets Take Manhattan in 1984, Yeehaw, the porn is popping in your face and 3D. Yeah, but, but, but chef, that's not how 3D works. Oh, never. The Muppet Christmas Carol in 1992. Muppet Treasure Island in 1996. Well, how else do you think we were going to get him in this movie? Muppets from Space in 1999. It's a very merry Muppet Christmas movie in 2002. The Muppets Wizard of Oz in 2005, The Muppets in 2011, and The Muppets Most Wanted in 2014. It was a, it was a great experience because the, the people that work with the Muppets, they, they're so warm and so giving. It was, it was, a, it was a, you know, I mean, naturally, they're not like, you know, like, it's like they love their job, you know, and so it makes it real easy for you. Jim, at that time, even before I came, made whatever money he made on commercials. You know, I joined Jim after he'd done probably a hundred commercials, and when I joined, we did a couple, few hundred commercials, from toilet paper to gasoline to coffee to luncheon meat. Since their inception, the Muppets have appeared in numerous commercials. The Swedish Chef has appeared in many, including a Facebook Portal commercial in 2019, Pam in 2017, a two-minute promo spot advertising Warburton's new giant crumpets in 2015, Subway in 2014, Toyota in 2014. In a 2013 ESPN Sports Center commercial, the Swedish chef is seen with Henrik Lundqvist. He said today's specials are on pickled herring and blood corp. Bounty in 2012. Walmart in 2012. Make it real fast. Okay. <laughs> and of course, we can't forget the chef's very own Crunchy Stars commercial in 1988. And so that's the thing. I like to just take the dialogue and then I try and figure out how would he say this and how ridiculous does it sound? And then of course, most importantly, how am I conveying it visually? Because that's really yeah. what he is. He's a visual character. In addition to being a world-class chef and performer, some of the chef's other accomplishments include an animatronics display in the Disney World Muppet Vision 3D attraction, which launched in 2001. In 2012, the Muppets were collectively honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2020, the chef launched a video game named yes, Overcooked. That is why you're here for a world premiere. Let's take ooh, a look. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh. The widely acknowledged musical talents of the Swedish chef extend beyond just singing in the kitchen. In 2015, the chef has also established himself as a skilled rapper. It was just about watching Jim, yeah. and then and then hopefully trying to figure out how to then make it my own, with still keep, again the essence of Jim and his version of the chef, and you know tonally keeping it there. But I just just watching him and just trying to be absurd. The Swedish chef is just as hilarious and relevant today as he was 49 years ago when he made his first appearance. Will he continue throwing utensils yelling bork 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 for another 49 years? Only time will tell. Well, did you find all that interesting? No, I was smorgasbord. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't miss our next videos, just hit subscribe.